Hello and welcome. Today we go with PDF display inside WinCC runtime and we want to display this PDF inside our WinCC application. For example, with sch schema of electrical diagrams or something else. We need to install one of PDF reader of printer. I suggest you to install Foxit reader or Bullzip PDF printer or any else. Anyway, after you install this kind of software, in my opinion, Foxit reader, we can go to ActiveX controls and we need to put add remove. Inside this list, we can find our Foxit reader control. We need to select this control and we need to put OK. After we make this, we have the Foxit reader control in ActiveX controls folder. We select our Foxit reader control and we draw our control on screen. Now we need to name our Foxit reader control. For example, PDF1, just to make this easier to find on our screen. Let's make also one button. This button, let's say it will be load PDF. So we can go to events. Uh, we need to find also the PDF inside our system. So we have, for example, um, trends.pdf on our screen. So we need to select our location path for this and we need to go to our events and mouse click. We select the Visual Basic Script action. Inside here we need to create one internal tag. For example, ABC and this ABC we need to set as the screen items. So it's the object on our screen. And in this we need to put the name of our control. We remember it was PDF1. After this, after this situation, we should have the possibility to set ABC dot and we need to see the properties of this control. As you see on this list, I have the open file function inside this control and in this tooltip we have this byval, the file path as string. So we need to put the open file function, we need to open and we need to put the localization of our PDF file. So in my, we have the C user MSW desktop and we remember that we have the trends.pdf. Now we need to check if our syntax check is okay, no error occurred. Okay. After this, we can put the Runtime. Okay, we have our runtime running. We have the application started. So now, after we click this button, we should have the PDF inside our application. We have application working. We can set the wells. We can set some values inside IO fields. We can put the bar graph. And for more, more and more, we can go to trends, all it's working, so we have all information. Okay, let's go to file examples. And now, after we click the load PDF, we should have in this control our PDF. You see? And we have also possibility to make the bigger, lower, and find the more pages. We have only one page, so we don't search for any more, but 
we can also put the save this this PDF as we see to different name for example we can put trends 11 and we can go to folder and now we can find that we have trends 11 in our documents so it's the same this control has also possibility to control for example the printouts so we can print again the our print uh, our pdf to to another file we need to go to events we have the copy of our button we comment our open file and now we can go to abc dot and we have a lot of possibilities here we can handle for example the print file it's only the function print file after this we will have the options about the printing this file to another document let's run time this let's load this PDF again we have this trends and after we go to print we have the Foxit reader PDF printer and we can for example make the this screen for example with gray scale so after this we can make the ok and we can put on our desktop trends one gray okay now our file is gray and after we open our original file we'll have the colorful so we can control pdfs directly from wincc runtime thank you for watching and try yourself how to use the PDF readers inside your applications. See you next time.